This video will cover geometry setup of a human powered vehicle in space claim and also go through watertight fluent meshing. Create an enclosure around the fairing, and make sure symmetric dimension is not selected. This lets us have more control over the enclosure dimensions. The numbers on the video are inaccurate so take your time to decide your enclosure dimensions. Let's hide the enclosure and create a middle plane. Hold control when selecting both axes to create a plane. Using this mid plane, sketch a rough rectangle using the rectangular sketch tool. Pull the sketch in both a Y direction. Triple click on the wake to select it as a body and change the transparency of the wake. Using the pull feature, make sure the wake is pulled up to the enclosure created. Using the middle plane, we've created, cut the body in two, and delete the left part as it's not needed. Repeat the same process for the wake. This is how our final fluid domain will look like. Using the pull feature, create a 4 mm radius around the tire contact patch. This will help remove the sharp angle improving mesh quality around the region. Finally create named selections to inform Fluent about the different boundary conditions. This will also make it easier to pick up zones in Fluent meshing later. The named selection that we need to create are for the inlet, sky, outlet, ground, symmetry, wake, wheel radii, front wheel, back wheel and the fairing as shown. The geometry is ready to be taken into Fluent meshing. When you open Fluent as a standalone module make sure the meshing mode is highlighted and the correct working directory is selected. Import the link geometry from the chosen directory. Let's enable local sizings. Add a local sizing. Choosing body of influence under the size control type, and having 96 mm as target mesh size. Pick refinement from the named selections and add the local sizing. Add another local sizing, choosing curvature and having a 3 minutes size and 48 mm as max size. Pick the fairing in both the wheels from the named selections and add the local sizing. Add another local sizing, choosing face sizing and having a 1mm as target sizing. Pick the wheel radii from the named selections and add the local sizing. Again. These numbers aren't accurate as we are just going through the workflow. Make sure to conduct a mesh independent study to get reliable results. Under surface mesh, change the size functions to curvature only. Create the surface mesh. The smallest feature in our geometry is the wheel radii so let's make sure the mesh is of a good quality around that area. This geometry has only fluid regions and no shared topology. 
Fluent grows boundary layers on any zone type which is a wall. So, let's temporarily change the boundary zone of the sky to symmetry as we don't want boundary layers forming on the sky. This is just a temporary zone change and will be changed back to wall in the solver. There are no changes to be made here so update the regions. Let's go ahead change the fill to a polyhexachore mesh and create the volume mesh. Again, carry out a Y plus study to set up the inflation layers properly. As shown on the screen, this workflow can be saved and only the geometry with the same name selections and be imported and meshed in no time. Fluent is case sensitive so make sure the name selections are the same.